Member for Courtney East. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Completed in 1973, the Libby Dam near the township of Libby, Montana, and 77 kilometers south of the Canadian U.S. border, displaced thousands of residents and First Nations along the Kootenai River. This dam was an optional insertion into the Columbia River Treaty that provided further flood reduction, hydropower, recreation, and environmental stewardship. However, there are many that contest that this dam has greatly impacted a variety of large game animals, including bighorn sheep and elk, not to mention aquatic life such as white sturgeon and bull trout. Furthermore, the dam has created unsurmountable erosion along the banks of the reservoir and valuable habitat and ecosystems have been lost. Libby started producing power in 1973 and to this date, Canada has received very little if any financial benefit from the Libby project, which generated $138 million alone in 2017. Mario Scaldolero, a Cranbrook resident, is a supporter to building a weir to stabilize the water levels at Kukanusa Reservoir north of the 49th parallel and has seen firsthand the displacement and the unfair compensation that Canada has seen since the 1960s. There are many questions and controversies that surround the proposal of building a weir, which cannot be explained in a two-minute speech. All of the MLAs should have received a brief informational flyer that I handed out and will be happy to discuss with anyone. In his youth, Mario was a great junior hockey player and was pursued by the New York Rangers and a great Canadian that retired in 1989. Born February 17, 1929 in Bellevue, Alberta to a coal mining family, Mario is turning 93 years young today. I will have more to say about this important topic about ensuring Canadian water sovereignty and centuries of economic benefit, but for today, I just want to wish Mario a very happy 93rd birthday. Happy birthday, Mario.